What's up, YouTube fam? Hey, bitch. It's me. Unapologetically. And today, guys, I'm back with another banger. Today, guys, mm, I cook breakfast fresh made, homemade for me and my son. We got some 100% whole grain pancakes right here. And then I got my veggie uh, omelet again. It's delicious, guys. I love it and you cannot beat it. So with that being said, guys, let's jump into the video. Let's go. Okay, guys, I got right here, like I said. Well, first of all, let's just go on and pray so we can grub. Heavenly Father, thank you for the food that I'm about to receive. May it nourish and strengthen my body. Lord Jesus, I ask that you bless this food in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost, and the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Okay, y'all, so here it is up close and personal. Look at that um, I add spinach to it this time, too, because I don't like spinach in salads. So what we're going to do, I'm going to cut this pancake up, guys. I got my essential water. Of course, you guys know that on deck. And we are using Miss Buttersworth, the light kind. So I'm going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm not going to play around with this one. The only thing I don't like about cooking my pancakes on the griddle, and I have yet to learn that, I like my edges crunchy, and I think these are all soft. Let me handle this plate. I got to hold it, guys. Nobody got time to be trying to make everything look all perfect all the time because it's not going to look like that all the time. So, okay. Here we go. Let's get that syrup on here. You guys know I'm going to give y'all the first bite. I'm only supposed to have two tablespoons, but I think that's about right. I think that's... I think that's about two tablespoons. Okay, so what do y'all want first? Do y'all want a bite of the omelet or the pancakes? I knew it was going to be the pancakes. Let's get an edge. Oh, my God. I know it's soft, but that's okay. Hopefully, they're still good. It's my first time trying them. Go ahead and give you that first bite. Look at that syrup just dropping. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And my opinion on that pancake is that it's good. I would like it in a skillet, though, because I want to get those edges crunchy, and it's really going to be good. Here you guys go. Some of that old spinach on it, purple onion and cheese. Mmm. Delicious. So, you gotta take a picture, guys. That's good. I like it on portrait. I really do. Portrait is amazing. Okay, guys. Something is a little salty, and I think it's the eggs. Why is my plate jumping all around the fucking thing? It's all like these cheap ass plates. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, guys, it's good. I give the pancakes two thumbs up. They're good. Mm, they're better for me than the other ones. Mm -mm -mm. 
this right here down. I put a little bit too much salt, but it's okay. I mean, it's not too salty where you just can't eat it, but it's a lot. It's a little bit more salt than I than I like. Let that fall off. Here you go, guys. There you go. And these had that crunch factor. Mmm. Good job for time. Telemarketer. They got a funny, they do got, taste a little bit different, but there ain't none that I can't overlook. Mm -hmm. I'm going to the gym after this food that digest. Also, I don't know what else can I say. Oh, yeah. I want to talk about my second vaccine. I'm fully vaccinated, guys. Got my second shot yesterday. Now, the first time, my arm, it, you could tell I had gotten a shot, but it wasn't anything like, it just wasn't bad. And this shot, I mean, it was like on the the first shot, pain scale on the uh, on the scale of one to ten, with ten being the worst pain in the world, it was a one. On um, this shot right here, it is probably like about maybe a three. I'll give it a three. I'm going to gym today. The pain is so minimal. I'm wondering if. Oh, that broccoli. I just hit some broccoli. That's good. The pain is so minimal that I'm thinking about actually working it out because I think that that will happen. I'm going to probably knock that soreness right on out. Mm -hmm. I got another seafood mukbang coming up with a special guest, of course. I think that um, I need to give y'all more than just this right here. I got another blog coming up. Um, I'm going to Alabama to visit my family. And we're going to spend the night overnight. And it's going to be me and my sisters. And I'm going to vlog that for you guys and bring y'all a little bit deeper into my life. I don't mind doing that. That's what I got on this platform for me. I'm not ashamed of anything in my life. Mm -mm. Not at all. So how do the pan pancakes taste, Jalen? How do the pancakes taste? Good. good. They look taste a little different, don't they? You don't look like they're good. No, I'm just a little bit Okay. I think I could taste the different, but I think I'm going to fry them in the skillet the next time. Because they just, the only thing they need is that crunch factor. Yeah. They almost got like um some kind of like nutmeg-ish taste to them, yeah. you know. Yeah, yeah they, mm-hmm. Yeah. So how is the broccoli, I mean the um the um, omelet with the oh if I see that shit, I can't. I just seen the white rawness. Jesus Christ. Um how does uh the uh, omelet taste with added with the spinach? Good. I d I don't really care for spinach. Mm -hmm. I don't even lie. That's why I be trying to eat it, but I'd rather have broccoli. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Thank you, son. He gets to go over here. He gets to get out of the house today. He's going over his friend girl house. I'm going to let him know. I definitely am. I'm so sorry, guys. Y'all yeah, know I got sinuses. Good. That's good. I'm sorry, guys. Here you go. That broccoli makes it look like oh, y'all. I seen some raw, raw white yolk. You know how it be done turning white, but it ain't done. I kind of, I kind of felt it when I took that first bite, but I tried to ignore it. But I couldn't. I seen it. That was it. This part right here was done. I should have cut that shit off because it made me sick. But anyway. But yeah, guys. It's going to be a good vlog, I think, when my family is here. Yes, I think it's going to be a very good vlog. And it'll be our first mm, time leaving Tennessee since the pandemic uh, started. Um, okay, it's so good. I want to eat it. I'm full. That broccoli is makes it. The broccoli and the red onion, they're married. They go together. I know it. I don't think I want that. I eat this. I'm really full though, guys. Uh, I'm gonna take one more bite. I'm trying to make it a big. Oh my god! I just I'm full. I'm so full. I can't do it. I'm gonna take this bite and I am going to be done. Give me my broccoli. I'm done. I was delicious. I cooked because and we were out of milk. We didn't have enough for cereal. But I, mm. oh, yeah, that's about does it. That was my first time using my griddle plate iron. Um, iron plate, I mean. Um, I think I'd be cooking on it a lot, especially breakfast. I could definitely cook eggs on one side, bacon on the other side, and some down the middle, you know. So I'm definitely going to be... This is a griddle plate, too. I just used this for my... Um, my mukbangs. And you know, it's like sometimes... Uh. When I first used it, I didn't know. I knew how to use it, but you don't. I left it on. You don't. My whole my food was so hot, burned my mouth a couple of times. But the thing about that is, what I learned is when you're using these warming plates, you don't use it to keep it on the whole time while you're eating. You just warm your food up and then you turn it off and then you grub. So, I bought this one, and I completely forgot that I had the other one. And so, now I have two griddle plates. And so, I used this one, and this will come in handy one day. I definitely thought about this when I uh, wanted to do seafood mukbangs because Kalesa crab, crab legs, you know, I can get in them pretty good if they're pre-cut, but if they're not... By the time you get through struggling with the, all that shell, the stuff is cold. I don't want nothing cold, so. 
That's this. The food was delicious, guys. I'm using my ring light again. I love it. Uh, I've been having that thing for almost a year. So, guys, y'all know what it is. This mukbang is officially over. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I hope you enjoyed watching me eat the food as much as I enjoyed eating the food. Don't forget to like, comment, share. And for those of you that have not yet subscribed, what are you waiting on? I think you're lost. So, you know, go ahead and subscribe. I got a lot of good stuff, you know, on my channel. Um, hit that bell. Make it shake. Turning it from red to gray so you'll know every time I post a new video. So you guys wash your hands, wear your mask, and stay safe. Till the next time, I love you guys. Goodbye.